Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookingwithme.com and Me Crafty Scrapper here on YouTube and Instagram and we are going to make a journal today. Um, <laughs> I hadn't done a full journal in a long time. Uh, we've been doing some folios, we've been doing pockets and stuff to go in our journals, but um, hadn't made a full journal in a long time. Uh, I have the... Um, June AJ kit. Now remember, AJ kit is separate from E Club kit at scrapbookingwithme.com. Uh, AJ kit is only quarterly. It is not monthly. And um, if for some reason you get a letter with your AJ kit and it says March instead of June on it, it should say June. It's just a typo. Um, March was the last AJ kit that was offered, and now June is the next one, right? March, April, May, June. Yeah, every quarter, every three months. So we had an AJ kit in March, and this is the AJ kit for June. Mom made something with the March AJ kit, and I am making something with the June AJ kit. Now, I don't know. Mom might have gotten uh, this one, too, because this one's good. This one's real good. So here's just some of the stuff that was in the AJ kit. And this little bitty flare button is in there. Um, everybody did not get the same flare button. Everybody did not get the same washi. Uh, everybody did not get the same color of distress ink. Uh, I got forest moss, which I have a forest moss, uh, the big one. Um, we got a stencil. We got some little pages to collage with if we want to a whole pack of die cuts of some kind and then a whole pack of um, uh, Tim Holtz ephemera of some kind and then some brown paper bags beautiful uh, some book pages uh, some dot grid paper. I think there might be just one sheet in there, but it'll do. And then first time, you got some newsprint paper. So it feels like a newspaper. I found that with our supplier and thought, hmm, we need to try that right there. And then some drawing paper, which also feels like newsprint, but kind of like construction paper too. And then you got a whole bunch of sheets of um, paper cardstock from a, I think it's Die Cuts with a View collection, um, but no two people got the exact um, papers. I've got a tickle in my throat, sorry. <coughs> um, but no two people got the same papers in there, so... If you see something in mine that you didn't get in yours, it's because nobody got the same of everything. We tried just to give you the same amounts, but nobody's going to have the exact same um, patterns. And then you got two pieces of um, craft cardstock, 12 by 12. So this is a large kit. You also have this film strip trim and I thought that was the cutest thing ever. I don't know how we use that but it's very cute. Um, flare button, you got a um, sponge dauber. You put that on the end of your finger and press it into your ink pad and you can use it with your um, stencil you got. And then a blunt needle to sew your journal signature together. Alright, so I'm wanting to make a taller journal and I want um, these bags now these would make really cute covers for journals but I want to make a uh, bigger journal so these I think I'm going to add into my signature as pockets in there and I want these file cards if I can get it open I'm going to measure these file cards and I want them to be part of my pockets in my pages or in my journal on my pages so some of them are smaller that's good let me find my ruler here so we've got five and a half so I think that would 
almost fit on a regular journal. But then we've got these bigger ones that could be on the page but sideways because we got, oh yeah, that'd be easily put on there sideways and we could um, glue tops and bottoms and have this off the edge of the page. That little tab, we could do that and have little pockets or even little flip outs on our pages. I like that. So I'm really, really wanting to utilize these and these and we will see where we go from there. Um, I think what I shall do is cut one of my craft pieces. Now I'm just going on the fly here. I have not made a prototype. Um, that would take me forever to make a prototype of a full journal and y'all wouldn't get a video from me for a while. So we're just going on the fly. And I've got y'all pulled in pretty close just so y'all can see detail so you're not seeing the full 12 by 12 sheet here. So if I fold that, of course that is six inches wide. I want to go about six and a half, so that means I will have to add some to this. So what we're going to do, first off, Melinda, you're going to keep this on here, and you are going to go cut at eight and a half tall. So let's cut this 12 by 12 paper at eight and a half tall, and then we're going to cut this in half at six. And we're going to put an extra little piece down the middle because I want it to be six and a half by eight and a half. So six inches. There we go. So we've got, yes, I need a new blade for my trimmer. We've got, oh, that's a little more than six. That's six inches. I didn't cut off enough of that Brandon strip. That's what it is. So let's get this one at six inches. Okay. So six inches, about eight and a half inches tall. It's going to be our base. We're going to put paper on top of this. And then we're going to cut this piece that we had left over at eight and a half. And then two. There we go. Okay. Now let's see how that's going to work out for us. Look at that. I truly need a new trimmer. So if we do that and we adhere together with some of our pattern paper and we put our fold this in half that's going to give us an extra inch on each side and then our little space so that's going to give us too much ain't it so let's go to a one inch strip let's make sure of that measurement okay that's a one and a half if we cut it down let's go to one inch One inch. We're going to keep that just in case we need it. And we are going to score this at half an inch. Now in the middle should be. So, we have 
right on these because we're going to be covering them up, up anyway. This is one inch by eight and a half inches. Okay, and then these are six inches by eight and a half inches. Six by eight and a half and six by eight and a half. Okay, so there's your measurements for the base. And then we're gonna cover these up with some of our pattern papers that we got and that's gonna uh, give us a nice solid base for our journal. I really like that. I like that toile <laughs> pattern. But I like that gold too on the back of that one. I want to cut apart this one. That's got pretty stuff on the back of it too, but I want to cut apart that one. I really like that. Ooh, and I like the back of that one, too. Let's see. But that would be very pretty on the front as our front cover. So I think I'll use that as the front cover. I will use probably one of these as my spine cover on the back of that. And I've got enough that I could do... I could do the front and back with this. Let's just do that. Have it matchy-matchy, and then I'll come up with something else for the spine if I need to. This is just for the outside. Yes, I will have enough because I'm not doing a wrap around. I'm not wrapping it around this. This is pretty craft cardstock, so I'm gonna cut this just a tiny bit shorter than what this, or a tiny bit smaller than what this is. And um, that craft is going to be my mat. Okay. Uh, I definitely want those butterflies on there. So let's figure out where we want to cut this. So I want to go just a eighth. Is that an eighth? Let's say. Da, 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 da. No, that's a quarter. All right, I'm going to go a quarter under six, so five and three quarters, and this is going to be the back, so let's go a quarter under eight and a half. All right, let's see what that looks like. Oh yeah, it just barely gives us a little bit of that craft on the other side. So I like that. So let's do the same thing with this one. And let's see, a quarter under. And I'm going to get a little bit of craziness from that. So let's chop that off. I'm going to lose a little bit of my... But with die cuts with you, you get that little circle in there, and it's a little more than 12 inches, so you're still getting your 12 inches, but that circle's going to mess you up. So we'll go ahead and take that off. Let's go a quarter under six, which is just a little sliver, and then a quarter under eight and a half, which is there and see what that looks like on our feathered up oh yeah I like that very pretty okay so there's our two pieces or our covers now let's pick a color or a pattern or whatever for the outside spine all right, and then what we're going to do for that outside spine, I like that. Ooh, I like that too. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that. What we're going to do is we're going to cut this 
um, wider than one inch and it's going to go up underneath on the inside here and we're going to have that there so we'll have this paper on the inside holding that spine on. I'll show you in just a minute what I'm talking about. But it's going to attach our two covers together. So we need, let's just go with three inches. So three inches, and we'll have an inch on each side, that'll work. Three inches by eight and a half inches is what we're going to cut this at. So let's just go ahead this way, cut our three inches off wide way like that and then eight and a half uh, let's go one and a quarter under eight and a half so it'll match up with all of our other cuts and have a little mat on the outside okay so Let's cover this and we'll move all of this so y'all can see it really well while I'm covering it. We're going to get some 5 8 inch. I think that's 5 8 inch. It might be 1 inch. Close. 5 8 Yeah. 5 8 inch score tape and then I have um, liquid glue also. Go ahead and ink our two covers and then I think I'm going to just barely do a rounded edge not anything drastic just barely that smallest rounded edge okay this usually is the hardest part for me is um, figuring out what I want the cover to look like because you know that's the first thing you're going to see when you look at this journal forever now <laughs> so that's usually the hardest part everything else is pretty easy even the decorating I have come come off of my little high horse as far as um, all the decorating goes because I have just found that if I will be myself and do what I like in the journal, then, you know, it'll all be okay. I don't have, mine doesn't have to look like anybody else's. And that's always been my thing with decorating is um, <laughs> uh, what if mine doesn't look like everybody else's that does junk journaling. And it doesn't, and I would drive myself crazy if I kept trying to be like everybody else so I'm not going to do that alright I'm getting off my little feathery bits that my trimmer made and maybe that will all come off eventually when I start doing my distress inking anyway I hate that but I don't have a new blade for it as of this very moment so can't do anything about it I'm going to go around and trim off all these little bitty bits. Be right back. All right, I'm using Walnut Stain ink. Um, that forest moss that come with this, I will do a little bit of inking with that inside my journal. But right now, I'm just going to do my walnut stain, my go-to around the edges and I'm just going to ink the edges inside and out of this craft paper and then I will ink the edges of my pattern paper too. So see i got to ink the inside also and then I've got to ink my pattern paper that's going to be on top. Okay, I've inked everything. I'm going to put some 5 8 inch core tape on the back here. On all the 
sides. Put my sticky scissors to use instead of tearing it and then tearing my paper. Even though that's going to be on the back side, so it don't matter, but. Okay. And then I think I will do a little cross section of it here. Okay. And then take all of my backs off. And then where there's not um, score tape, I'm going to put liquid glue. If it'll cooperate, I'm going to put liquid glue. I had somebody ask me the other day. Um, I've been told that um, by a very reliable source that that doesn't work when you put um, two different glues together like that. So there's no sense in doing that. There's That just does not work they work against each other well I've been putting journals together like this um, for oh I'd say uh, 14 years at least and I've been paper crafting for 28 ish years and I've been putting them together like this though for that many years and I've not once had a cover come apart on me not one time so it works. It works. Okay, and just get that centered up just as much as you possibly can on that craft paper. And I think that looks quite good. I'm going to get my bone folder. If I can find it under all this pile of everything that's on my desk. And I'm going to really burnish all that down. Okay, so there's the back cover. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the front cover. All right, front and back covers are finished as far as putting them together. And now we've got this middle. We're just going to leave those corners because you're not going to be able to see that anyway. What we're going to do is fold our little three inch piece in half and we got lawn mowing going on in the background so those listening with airpods you're going to hear that <laughs> i've noticed that when i just listen to a youtube video without my airpods i never hear background hardly ever hear background noises on people's um videos but when I have my airpods in I definitely can hear all of that okay so what we're going to do this is going to line up with that middle section we've got there already scored okay and we're going to go ahead and just glue that together and get that in the center so you can just barely see the craft piece on the outside okay and then when we get that glued together it's going to look like this when we get it inside there okay oh i like that already okay i'm going to ink my fold on this because that will be seen and I want to ink that up. OK. 
Okay, and go ahead and ink the top and the bottom. This is a different way of me doing a spine. Um, I know there's probably plenty of other um, YouTubers that have done it like this, but this is my first time for doing it like this. I'm going to get some quarter inch score tape and I'm going to put because this is shorter than this because I wanted that little bit of a mat you can do it the same um, height if you want to I'm just going to put me a line of fourth inch score tape down one side of that fold and then another one down the opposite side of that fold okay and then on this piece I'm going to put a piece of score tape all the way to the edge take it to the very outside edge furthest away from that middle fold Okay, so far away from the middle fold, all the way to the edge of your cardstock, and I'm going to have to turn it around like this, or you'll be able to see the top of my head, because I'm going to have to lean over and look. There we go, like that, and then take off. that and this and then take off these two and then we'll be able to ink the top of that craft cardstock once we get it in place okay super duper sticky we're just folding it up a little bit okay I had to pull mine apart just a little bit there because it was wanting to pucker so that's just this part right here is just a strengthening part anyway so no worries and we're going to cover that up on the inside anyway okay so you're going to be able to see it like that and like this on the outside so we're going to flip everything over and we're going to adhere this spine to the inside here and get it to lay down flat and not pucker okay and then on my covers what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a pen and I'm going to mark three-fourths of the way over and that's where I'm going to put my spine so three-fourths there and then I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom three-fourths that way I can line my spine up really good this paper that's on the outside of that reinforced part three-fourths and three-fourths my family's in and out in and out the door so okay then I'm gonna put some five-eighth inch score tape down that line so there's your three-fourths line and you've got score tape all the way up to it okay and then same thing over here score tape all the way up to it burnish that down and then take my backs off and what I'm going to do is just put one side down at a time Okay, make sure that if you've got directional paper, 
it's the way it's supposed to go and then get over to your mark and then lay it down okay good good and then back off pattern the same way yes so then we're going to line that one up All right, look at there. Beautiful. I love it. Okay, and what I think I will do is just go ahead and trim off that craft piece that's right there because I don't like how it looks now that I've done that. I'll just trim that off and make it be the same little short height as that fine piece there so when you open it up okay and let's measure we've got six and three-fourths so that's what we ended up with and then eight and a half so eight and a half by six and three-fourths inches wide so we've got a nice wide book I'm loving it and what I'm gonna do for the inside is put just a strip of something down through here to reinforce that yet again and score it down the middle and lay that there and then put the same color on the inside so let's pick another paper from what we got in our kit okay I think I would like for this to be inside so what I'm going to do is cut a three inch piece and that's going to totally cover up this part okay I think I'm going to cut this one to cover that up and I'm just going to cut it three by eight and a half so three inches and then eight and a half okay it's going to be just a little bit taller than that but um, it's going to be as tall as my covers so I'm good with that it's going to give me a nice little layered look on the outside I'm going to ink my edges at the top and at the bottom now what I've got to figure out is do I want this to show over the top of that or am I good with it showing like that I think I want it like this so I'm going to put this down last and that means I need to go ahead and ink the sides too and then we will cut our papers to go on the inside here all right, I brought y'all out just a little bit as far as the view since we're working with a little bit bigger of a piece now. All right, we need... I'm going to say just go ahead and cut it at eight and a half. Mm, I'm going to go a quarter under eight and a half. I'm going to cut this top part off first. It's got that hole on it. I'll go ahead and cut that hole off. And then I'm going to cut at a quarter under 
eight and a half for my height. And then, because I want that matte look on the inside too, just on the outsides because I won't get it there where the spine is. So then, if I can cut it at five and a quarter, I think I'm going to be good. So five and a quarter by eight and a half. So five and a quarter and five and a quarter. And then do our um, tiny little corner round. I guess I should have held it up to it to make sure that it was going to look right. It's going to be tucked underneath this and out like this. And I think I need to cut off just a touch more on the bottom. Yep. I need to just like a less than a sixteenth of an inch off of the bottom of each one of them because they're really butted up against that craft. And I don't think you'd be able to see it if I didn't. You know, it's just trial and error. Kind of do what you can and then figure it out later. But don't cut off more in the beginning <clears throat> than you did, than you need to because you can't really add to when it comes to paper crafting. You need to get that right first. Okay, yep, I can barely see just a little bit of the craft, so I'm good with that. Let's corner around just those outside corners. So we're going to be like this. And then that over the top, like that. And then we'll um, score it right down the middle so we'll get a nice little um, score spine right there. So I'm going to ink the edges of this, get them glued down with the um, 5 8 inch score tape and the liquid glue just like I did the fronts and I'll be right back. All right, there are my two inside covers put down. And then I went ahead and did the little bitty rounded edge on that. And I added some liquid glue into that little um, tear that I had. So maybe that'll reinforce that a little bit. And that, I think, is going to be very pretty. I like that. It matches the centers of those um, flowers. So I like that. And let's use this 5 8 inch score tape again around the edges of this. And I'm going to put um, more liquid glue straight down the middle there too. Alright. Liquid glue down the center of this. And then liquid glue down the middle of this there my little plop come out of it okay and then center that up you got a little bit of wiggle room as far as getting it in the center I need to come over this way just a touch. There we go. I think all that looks good. Yep, let's go ahead and press all that down. Got some liquid glue down the middle that's going to want to squish out if you don't burnish down the outside. Um, double sided tape first and then you can start 
squishing around that liquid glue in the middle. There we go. All right, and then turn it over. You've got a little bit of that showing from the inside, and I'm good with that. I like that layered look. Okay. And then you are going to fold this up. get that fold good in the middle and then deal with any puckering you've got so let's let that dry okay I've got my cover folded and I've got a few things out that I want to decorate my cover with and I'm getting the stencil that came in the um, kit and I'm gonna put just in this little blank space down here I'm going to stencil just a little bit right down here at the bottom okay and pull that up and see it just gives a little subtlety to it and I'll show you in just a minute some stuff's going to be covering that up so you're barely going to be able to see that but I wanted to put a little bit on there. And then on this book page, book page also came in your kit. And I'm just holding it as firm as I can. And I'm stenciling some on this book page that I've cut out or torn out. And I'm just going to stencil as much as I can on this book page now some of it's going to be covered up by my dolly and my little die cut that I got out of the die cut pack that come in the kit but you'll be able to see some of it I love how book page looks when it's been inked and that means any kind of ink as far as um, distressing that looks really cute and what I'm going to do I've torn just a, um, not torn, I cut a doily in half that I had um, food color ink, so it's got a little blue tint to it. And it's going to be like this. And then I'm going to ink this little die cut that come out of the pack in the kit. And I'm going to just kind of maneuver all this around. So that you see just little bits of it sticking out here and there. And then I'll have this little butterfly on there somewhere too. I really like that. like how it looks like that you can see just a tidbit of it there and some there. And then my pearl trim is flat on the back. So I'm going to use my Fabrifix or any kind of fabric glue that you have. I'm going to trim this off here and I'm going to put this on my extended spine down the middle right there and I got to ink around all of this and let's see I might put just a little bit more floral right through here I think what I will do is add some washi tape over here on this spine I want just a little bit more of that floral to show power of three you know okay um, let's do that and I'm going to put washi tape along what I don't want to be inked. So I'm going to put it right along my craft cardstock piece. I don't want that ink to go over that. So I'm going to get my walnut stain again 
and you can use the ink that came in your kit if you want to I'm just using walnut stain and I want this one to be a little more faint than those two were so I'm just dabbing I'm not um, swirling once you start swirling that's when it gets darker on you so I'm just dabbing and holding my stencil in place really well and make sure not to go over the edge of your stencil or you'll get a really um, pronounced demarcation oh yeah I like that I like how faded it looks look at that yay that came out just like I wanted it to all right I'm going to ink my edges of my book page my doily my die cuts and I might even um, get in there and trim really closely on that butterfly to get rid of some of that white edging and I'm gonna put my pearl trim on I'm just gonna ink all of this you won't see all of it but I'm just gonna go ahead and that way when I come back I don't have to try and ink something else that's going to be very pretty so I'm going to ink everything and be right back all right so there is my cover I think finished we might add something else to it later but as of right now I think I'm finished with that cover and I love how it turned out I love the faint uh, stenciling I did there and then you know bolder there and a little bit medium there I love it and then the pearl trim I just put um, that Fabrifix on the back of each one of the little pearls and put that down and it went down rather easily and then you open it up and I do have a little bit of buckling right through there but I'm not worried about that because that's where the signature is going to go anyways and it's going to be covered up so I am good with that I think that is going to be it for this video it had to be a series because it is a bigger um, uh, kind of oversized journal and we've got to put a signature together too so this is part one of our oversized um, journal and we're going to go with vintage wildflower journal oversized vintage wildflower journal yeah I think that's what it's going to be <laughs> anyway this is part one and in part two we will get going on the inside putting in our pockets whatever pockets we're wanting to do I'm thinking I might want to do maybe a two-tier pocket on the back and front since we've got such a big uh, piece of real estate to cover and then we'll start putting our signature together and putting pockets and stuff through it but this is going to be a writing journal so we're not going to cover up every page in our journal with a lot of decoration we're wanting some really nice um, journaling space in the signature of this journal so I am really looking forward to uh, finishing this one up and seeing how it turns out. I like the beginning of it anyway. Y'all have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. God bless. Bye y'all.